Welcome back. We're going to deploy uh, this Uberfares model downloading using this data set. We're going to deploy it on Microsoft Azure Cloud. We're going to deploy it not as a web service like we did last time with the classification model, but this time we're just going to deploy it to an endpoint simply. Um, there it is. There's the deployment logs. Here's the details. We'll dive into the code in a second. Okay. And uh, before you get started, um, if you guys aren't familiar with blob storage, that's where you're going to have to import it into before we do it, continue anything else. And by the way, blob storage, you can uh, get analytics as well on your data as well as the jobs for your model, which is not blob, it's different, but um, anyways, let's dive into the code. Okay, import these libraries. Later, we're only going to strip it of uh, one column. Okay, import these as well for your compute, and then we're going to name our experiment. Okay, pandas, read it. Head, you see we need to pick up date and pick up date time. We need to drop it. Okay, so drop that and then to CSV. Okay. There's a compute cluster. Absolutely use this and increase the nodes maximum to two. If you have a higher usage account, feel free to upgrade or use a different instance. If you're not familiar with Kubernetes and the nodes, see my last video. I explained a little more about it. Okay, and then you're going to pull Uber data, which you named it in blob storage, if you haven't done that. With this, and then you're going to do two data frame because it has to be in that format. Okay. Okay. Um, then you're going to pass these parameters right here in the Spearman correlation. Early stopping equals true. Regression, the data set, the fair amount. Okay, here we go. As you can see, um, it passed the data screening. And this was our best uh, model so far. Although the voting ensemble rated this one the best. As you can see how the models did in the Spearman correlation. That one's no good, huh? Okay, and then you can get the AutoML, AutoML best run. AutoML uh, automates the ML lifecycle process because over there we can continue doing jobs and retraining the model and continue the whole ML lifecycle. Okay. Now, let me show you guys a little bit around. Let's go to Uber Analytics. You guys have to reg you guys can actually register and to deploy the model from there. In fact, um, without deploying it again, I can show you where to go later. We're going to go to endpoints and then uh, you, the registered model, you can actually literally deploy it from there. As you can see, we, you can get all kinds of info right there. Okay. Endpoint. I didn't add a description. But if you guys want to... Uh, if I... Um, I guess I can show you using a different one.
Okay, here's where you go. Deploy, and then you can either do to a real time or a batch time. Let me just go through some of the steps without completing the whole thing for you. Name it whatever you want. It has to be all lowercase. You can just type in something random right there. Okay. We don't have any Kubernetes clusters, so if you do, feel free. And then we go to next, next, you guys can add more info if you want. And then here's where we get into the issue, compute, and it depends on what your account has. I already have one running instance right now, so I'm not sure I can I can afford to do any more. I would have to contact support. But you guys got the right idea for the usage. Most likely, um, if you don't have a deployed model already, and you don't have an upgraded account, I would suggest doing one of these two right here. You guys got the right idea. Traffic and then review. I just wanted to give you guys a little demo. Of course, you guys can test the model right there too, but you guys will most likely need to invoke an endpoint for predictions on the notebook anyways. Which you guys can get the API key from here, look. You guys can get it right here. Copy that, fill in the info. Anyways, guys, this is AutoML. I don't think I'll be doing this for a while. Because next time I'm going to most likely deploy a model on... Uh, not with AWS SageMaker, I've done too much of that. If you or guys are interested in any of those SageMaker pipeline videos and getting modules registered, deployed, and monitoring them, see my other videos. See the whole playlist. Now, if you guys are interested in um, GCP next, uh, let me know in the comments section, okay? Just let me know. I, I haven't gotten around to doing that. Check out my whole channel. I've got streamlit app deployments on various clouds, you name it. And we will get to every single service if we can by the time, by probably next year. Uh, anyways, guys, stay tuned. Be sure to hit like, subscribe, and share. Thank you.